there's this question that you have inboxed me and majority of you have asked me um first of all before i answer the question i need to make this clarity that i'm not a medic neither am i a gynecologist you all know that i'm a clinical psychologist however i have the privilege because i work in a hospital and currently i'm working in 17 counties with the healthcare provider so meaning every now and then i interact or daily i interact with the medics and the gyna as i also train them on how to handle survivors of gbv so the question is this, you have asked me about cleaning of your vagina and also the tightening of your vagina and you have given me different theories and I understand because that is a lie that is out there. So when majority of you asked me this question, of course I have a gyna, my colleague who is also my very good friend who I'll be hosting here and I'll tell you how we'll go about it. So I had to ask. So the first thing that I want ladies we understand I want we understand our anatomy. First of all, there are two things that we confuse. The vagina and the vulva. Let me start with the vagina. The vagina is that hole, that passage to your childbirth, where menses come from, where uh, even sperms pass through. So it's that passage. Then the vulva is the outer. That thing looks like V, the outer part. Now, coming to your question, now that you understand your anatomy, the first thing you asked me about cleaning your vagina, this is what I want to tell you. And listen to me carefully. Never, never clean your vagina. That passage. Do not insert anything. Adeline, never clean your vagina. One, Oh, you've been right. If you need to use lime, you, you need to use this. You need to put your fingers inside. You know what you're doing? You are tampering with the system. Your vagina, the way we are created, it itself cleans itself. It, you know, there is the discharge that cleans your system. Actually, if that discharge is normal, so when you start tampering with it, you're calling for infection. So you should never, and I say again, underline the word never, cream. And you should not even bring all those things that you have heard about. It has its system, it has its secretions, that it secretes and it, it creams itself. Let me say it in simpler terms. It, it, there is the normal discharge that it uses to self cream itself. So that is your vagina. You should never. The other thing is the vulva. I said the vulva is that V thing, the outer. The outer is the one that you're supposed to clean. First of all, get it clearly. The vulva is like skin. It's like cleaning your hands. So you don't need to clean it with all those things that you hear. It's the way you just clean your hand. You use the normal soap and you clean it, you know, smoothly you don't have to scrub or do those things that you've been told to do because you're going to injure or you're going to hurt your skin don't even go for bigger things just the normal soap and clean it then the other thing you asked me is about tightening your vagina then i need to make this clarification there is a lie there that we are right when you give birth oh your vagina is big oh that's why your husband goes out to those young girls who have not given birth that's a lie the way again our vagina is made it's like a balloon it expands and it comes back so get that lady so when you give birth or how you want to tighten your vagina, again, it's not those things that you've been told, oh, use this. When you use those things, you're bringing yourself infection. So what you need to do, you need, first of all, of course, to observe hygiene. Then there is the simple way that we call the Kegel exercise, where, and you can do it three times in a day. Simple, when you're seated down, where you contract your muscle, like you can do it that you can tighten them 10 seconds release tighten release tighten release ladies when you go to the toilet don't go and urinate bah! no you know train your brother to release and you can train it release tighten release tighten release you can do that in the morning in the afternoon and in the evening 
The other thing to tighten your muscle is your mind. When you tell your mind is big, actually it looks big. So it's only to tell your mind that it is like baroon. Ladies, when you are making love, don't go there with your mind that that thing is big. No, 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 no. Go there when you are making love. Tighten when you are holding your man. Hold, release, hold, release. And you'll come and tell me. And of course, observe your hygiene. When you go to the toilet again, the recommended nile tunasemanga ya douching, ile ya unamwagilia maji, the Islamic way. However, I know that is not um, our area. So when you're wiping yourself, never wipe yourself from the back. Always when you want to wipe yourself from the front to the back. You know why? That back hole could have infections. And when you Wipe yourself from the back to up, then you can bring yourself infection. So make sure that you wipe yourself from the front to the back. And in case, in case you are able to use the douching, that one for the water, well and good. So the other thing is the controversial shaving. They recommended, and get me right, Do I know we love it when you shave and it looks like this. No, the recommended is trimming. When you trim, you know, um, that hair, it has its own protection. So I didn't say that you leave all, all the hair there. I said it's good to trim when instead of shaving it completely. Then ad our other wears, ladies, our other wears. Let's, of course, normalize to air dry our other wears out there. Don't always, you know, don't always dry them inside the house. Air dry them out there. And of course, make use of cotton panties. Always. Because what cotton panties does, they, of course, allow air and they exchange air. And the other thing, finally, ladies, is about pap smear. It's good to go for pap smear. It really helps. You'll come and thank me. And then finally, I would like to host my friend who is a gyna and a gyna where I work. But for me to host him, you comment there that you're willing. Then you go to my uh, YouTube, Blossom Becky, subscribe and comment there that you'd like me to host my gyna, our gyna. He's very good. He's my gyna too, gyna of my mom. You know, he's very good and he's a friend. So when you go to my YouTube, because I'll do a YouTube lab, uh, live, you comment and you say you're willing. So when I see like we are many, I will now contact him and any other gyna for us to understand yourself ourselves. So thank you ladies. Blossom Becky is my YouTube channel.